does whatever a spider can. Okay, so for those of you who didn't necessarily understand the intro and are completely freaked out about it, allow me to elaborate on it just a bit. On August 10th, 2015, a man by the name of Russian Badger did a review over an old Spidey game known as The Amazing Spider-Man 2. The intro, and I mean this in more ways than one, was so dank that I ended up rewatching it over 9,000 times because, hell, why not? It was just that awesome. Originally, the video was called Peter Parkour, Dash the Amazing Spider-Man 2 until he changed it to the name of a meme that I'm pretty sure most of us are aware of. Pizza time. And it was solely because of this reason that I decided to be that fanboy and recreate the same intro using footage from the newly released Spider-Man game. It may not have been as great as the original, but hey, at least I tried. Yeah, and completely suck ass at it. But other than that, welcome to Marvel's Spider-Man, one of the few games that Xbox and PC players will never get to experience, unfortunately, due to the fact that Sony doesn't like to share its toys. You goddamn bitch! Just a quick heads up, this is not necessarily a review of the game, somewhat, I guess since it's just going to be mostly comprised of weak memes and gameplay, but hey, as the old saying goes, if the boot fits, wear it. And as for the spoilers, I will try to keep them to a minimum. Probably. So, as you may have already guessed it, you play as Peter Parker, aka Spider-Man, who protects the streets of New York City from all sorts of baddies while trying to maintain a regular life at the same time, which is a lot harder than it looks. With the game being set eight years after Parker gains his abilities from getting bitten by a spider, it shows us how much he has grown as not only himself regularly, but as his superhero persona in a new clean looking New York City, and by god the game is beautiful. Gameplay wise, from the combat to the swinging around to the story, everything about it is just a complete blast. From swinging in the streets to laying out bad guys in the sheets, the game proves to give out a set of challenges for us players to conquer and destroy. Never have I ever had so much fun blitzing on bad guys while swinging around the city completing various tasks and challenges. It honestly gives me a Spider-Man 2 kind of feel, and this is coming from a guy who hasn't played a Spider-Man game since, well, Spider-Man 3 came out and we all know how that turned out. Still loved it, but it was like, meh. Even though you jump into the story at the beginning of the game just straight away in a spectacular way I might add, I highly recommend you explore the city just a teensy bit more, not only to complete the side activities, but just to see the city in all of its glory and the landmarks it holds. It's a sight to see. Since the game is technically set in the Marvel Universe, you'll see a couple of familiar areas including the Sanctum Sanctorum, the Avengers Tower, the Wakanda Embassy, and many other areas in all of its juicy. Along the way, you'll even have the opportunity to visit Uncle Ben so that you can always remind yourself about the golden rule within the Spider-Man series altogether. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. BT dubs, swinging around a city is glorious in more ways than one. You even have your own theme song playing in the background while doing so. Hell, I even decided to turn down the music in-game just to put in my own track to see how it plays out, and I think it does it quite perfectly. Going back to the story, it's great. Juicy or terrific are probably much more appropriate terms for this, but let's just stick with great for now. Insomniac Games was to put their foot in this creamy delicacy because not only does it have a good narrative, but they plan on putting you on an emotional roller coaster right along the way, and the characters definitely help dish it out. Of course, you have a list of good characters such as Yuri Watanabe, Aunt May, Miles Morales, or Miles Davis in this case, and Mary Jane Watson to help keep Peter not only straight in his path, but to also remind him what he's fighting for. Also, this is just a little known fact, during the past 8 years, Peter and MJ broke up over a particular reason, and I'm pretty sure I know as to why it happened. Oh god, I'm so sorry. It, that's never happened to me before, it's just, you're so attractive and it's been a while. On the other hand, you have noteworthy villains such as King Pin or Wilson Fisk, and a shocker to let us know that they also love Spider-Man as well. All Biden in a much more aggressive way, I might add. Get the fuck out! <laughs> Now before you go out and go all spider cop on everyone, the most important thing you need to figure out 
is what suit you need to wear before doing so. Yes, you have the new advanced spider suit that Spidey shows off in the beginning of the game, but there's much more to it than that. In order to successfully flex on your opponent, you have to wear the appropriate garments because everyone knows that fashion is very important in the modern society. That, and he gives you cool battle suit powers. So, instead of me showcasing each suit individually like every other YouTuber would do, I figured I'd show specific ones with the generic voice lines and music because I'm really not that funny. And go. Spider pig, spider pig, does whatever a spider pig does. If you're nothing without this suit, then you shouldn't have it. Well, okay, daddy. Now you can't spell nutrition without nut. <laughs> you serious? After completing everything on your superhero to-do list, the last thing you need to do is to establish a connection with the citizens of New York to show that not only are you a superhero on the outside, but you're just like them, a regular human being on the inside. It's this kind of constant support from the citizens that show that it's not the powers that make you a hero, but from those who drive you to do such good things. Plus, you want to know what's funnier than greeting people in your underwear? Greeting people in your underwear with the Iron Spider suit power activated. This game is kick ass, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to get the game for yourself so you can also develop your own opinion over the game so, you know, you can share with others and hopefully bring people in who's seemingly interested in Spider-Man altogether. Love you all and peace. P.S. I honestly hope they add a piece of delivery minigame in the upcoming DLC because memes. <laughs>